Right, well, here's something else you can think about visiting and doing the face to face speaker series. This always pulls in some big, interesting names over in Winston Salem, but no bigger than this guy right there. That's right. Peyton Manny is coming to the triad to speak moderated by longtime friend and CBS Sports anchor and reporter Tracy Wolfson. This promises to be a load of fun. I, I got a chance to chat with Tracy today before the big day coming up. Tracy, thank you for taking time out. This is so exciting for me, not only to talk to you, because you're a famous CBS sideline person that I've watched for years, but, you know, Peyton is a different kind of animal, I think, when you're you're going to interview him. How, how is this going to be different from you interviewing, you know, other sports figures? The first time I really got a chance to be around him was on the sidelines at Tennessee. I was covering the SEC, and he wasn't playing. He had, been, he had come back from the NFL, but I had the chance to really get to know him on the sidelines. And then, of course, having the opportunity once I moved to the NFL to cover those Brady Manning rivalries uh, that really gave us a lot of time behind closed doors during our meetings to really get to know each other. And um, he's my favorite player to interview. Uh, his personality, as everyone has seen, you know, off the field just shines his humor that he brings. And he's just real. He gives you great answers. We're going to see that on Wednesday night. And I feel honored to be in that position. And I do think for me, it's a little bit of a different interview because I know him pretty well. So audiences that come here, and again, because Peyton is Peyton, what's what's the takeaway for them? I think we're gonna see a lot of those reactions from the audience of, oh, interesting. Oh, I didn't realize, especially, you know, we can go back to that Super Bowl 50 year. That was a really trying season for him, but we're not gonna only talk about his accomplishments on the field, but I think, you know, what he brings off the field, what he's been able to do since he's, you know, left the NFL. And I think that transition going from, you know, on the field to off it is interesting in itself. I hope there are a lot of young athletes in the audience when this happened, but what, what are the takeaways for them? Because he's a different kind of guy. Yeah, I think he's a perfect example of what you would aspire to be. Now, certainly not everyone's going to be a first ballot Hall of Famer and a true legend and win Super Bowls and MVPs, but um, who he is as a person on and off the field, the amount of work and time and effort that he put into his career every single day, he did not let up. And that's something I was able to witness on the sidelines, but also in meetings and, and from afar. And I think that can resonate on if you just put your head down and you really work and you want to achieve something, you'll be able to achieve that. And it's not just in football. It's just in life in general. And I think a lot of, like you said, these athletes that will be watching will be able to you know, learn from that, listening to him and hearing his stories. Tracy, again, thank you for taking time out. I can't wait. I will be in that audience. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah, yeah. this is a really big deal. Mm -hmm. And it's next week, by the way. So it's September 11th at 730 at the Lawrence Joel Veterans Memorial Coliseum. Um, tickets are on sale now. If they're still, I, I haven't checked to see if there are okay. any left. I want to check for myself. Yeah. Um, but this is a big deal. Five-time NFL MVP, most in history, and uh, he's a big deal. And you mentioned a good point that it's kind of like the Bryant series. It is. It's Winston-Salem's version of that. Version Wake of Forest it. plays mm -hmm. a role with this. Um, and they have had Anderson Cooper and wow. John, John Legend and all. I mean, the big names. That's yeah, cool. that's that's on my birthday, so it sounds like it would be well, a good birthday go. present, huh? I think that would be good. <laughs> and if you need somebody I mean, to go with you, I'll be happy to take exactly, you Exactly, we could go. And also, I think it would be great for, you know, young athletes athletes, coaches, yes. and as she mentioned, just also anyone, because, yeah. you know, sports has, has such bigger applications within the real world, and you can learn so many things, you know, overcoming adversity, all kinds of stuff. I'd love to hear a story. He's very funny, too. <laughs>